The Clutha Capricorn is worth $18 million. The ship is 83,000 tons dead weight and 830 feet long, more than 50 feet longer than the Amanda Miller, which occupied the same berth, number four. She's been built for Clutha development. Construction began about 10 months ago. The size presented problems. A pump house at the end of the berth had to be removed to make it long enough. As it is, it's still a tight fit with little clearance at the sides. The ship's the largest ever built in Australia. The Clutha Capricorn should carry more than 80,000 tonnes of bauxite, or she can also carry iron ore or coal. Clutha has a contract with Queensland Alumina to carry more than 3 million tonnes of bauxite a year from Weeper to Gladstone. This ship will join the Clutha Oceanic on that run. However, neither Weeper nor Gladstone are deep enough to take the ship fully laden, so she'll have to operate at less than capacity. Clutha obviously has its eye on future markets, and the size of this ship means that she can expand to meet any future markets. The ship would dwarf the first ones built at the Wyala Shipbuilding and Engineering Works. The first of four corvettes built for the Royal Australian Navy was completed in 1941. They were 180 feet long. The Clutha Capricorn is more than 830 feet long. The directors of the company have plans for a $10 million expansion program, which would enable ships of up to 150,000 tonnes to be built. However, the assistant general manager, Mr. R.G. Hawke, said they were not prepared to commit the expenditure until the government indicated the future of the shipbuilding subsidy. At present, it was up to one third of the cost of building a ship. The company has orders to carry it through until mid-1974, but Mr. Hawke said it could well do with another order within the next few months. Existing orders are for a small tanker for Ampol, worth about seven to eight million dollars, two roll-on, roll-off steel product carriers for BHP at about 12 million dollars each, and a 15 million dollar tanker for the Botany Bay Tanker Company. The Clutha Capricorn will be powered by a single screw steam turbine, which should give it a service speed of 17 and a half knots. She'll carry a crew of at least 40. The loading and discharging rate should be about 2,000 tonnes an hour. The ship's the 53rd to be built in these yards. Frantic preparations are now underway to have her ready for the launching, which should be in about 10 days to two weeks. After that, there'll be a further three months or so of final fitting out to do. The ship's expected to have a working life of about 20 years. John McGregor in Wyala for ABC National News.